Okay, so we're going to do the bones of the skull, and I'm going to do them in alphabetic order just like they are on your wish list. So we start with the ethmoid bone, and the ethmoid bone in these skulls, we're going to concentrate mostly on, on um, introducing you to the bones with a colored skull, and then we'll shift over to the white skull because the colored skulls are really easy to see them. So the ethmoid is yellow, and we can see the yellow here. This is part of the ethmoid. There are actually a couple of features of it that we'll talk about in a little while. I'm not going to get your landmarks right now. And we can also see the ethmoid if we look into the orbit of the eye right there. Okay. And then we can see the ethmoid in one more place, and that is if we look into the nasal uh, cavities, we can see the ethmoid is sort of makes up the roof of the nasal chamber. Next one we're going to see is frontal. Oh, uh, I'll show you the ethmoid on the white bone. So the white skull will be the one that will be on the lab practical. Here's the ethmoid here. Again, there are several features there. I think you're going to have a hard time seeing the ethmoid in the orbit, but it's medial and posterior a little bit. This is the ethmoid right here. And then in the nasal cavity, we're going to see that there are several landmarks that we're going to uh, make note of. And again, it makes up the roof. But you can't really see where it ends and the other bones begin. Okay, next is frontal. And the frontal bone is sort of a peach color in the skull. Okay, so um, the frontal bone is unusual in a couple of regards. One is that it starts out uh, in babies as two bones and it ends up or as one when the sutures close. It looks like it's only one. This is it. Makes up part of the cranium also makes, makes up part of the, your forehead. You can see it in the orbit of the eye. It really makes up the roof of the orbit of the eye. Okay. And then if I open up the cranium, you can see it makes up part of the anterior fossa of the cranium. This area right here is all frontal. I'll show you the frontal bone and the white skull. White skull we see here. We've got frontal bone here, there's a suture going right across here called the coronal suture. It separates the frontal from the two parietal bones. It makes up your forehead. It is the roof of the orbit up in here on each side. Okay. And then if we take the top of the skull off, you can see the frontal bone. You can see that there's a crack running right across here. That's a suture. Okay, so all this is frontal and all this is frontal over here. Next bone we're going to look at is incus. So the incus is one of the, um, there we go, one of the uh, uh, middle ear bones, and incus is uh, the same thing as what we used to call the anvil. And uh, so some of you have probably never seen an anvil, but an anvil is what the wily coyote usually tries to throw on the roadrunner, and uh, it was used by blacksmiths to shape horseshoes. Okay, next bone is going to be the inferior nasal concha. By the way, that incus is a real bone. The uh, pieces in here in the plastic are actual bones. These skulls are plastic bones. Okay. So the inferior nasal concha is on the lateral side of the nasal cavity. You can see there's an ivory colored bone right here. In this particular skull, it's got a number four on it. Okay. And we'll be able to see that in the white skulls um, too. In fact, the white skull would be the one that will be tagged on the lab practicals. So we see this sort of shelf-like projection coming off the nasal um, wall on the lateral side, and that is the inferior nasal concha. It's a separate bone. It's the only one of the concha that is actually a separate bone. Then we have the lacrimal bone, and the lacrimal bone is in the medial uh, portion of the orbit anteriorly here. And the lacrimal bone is going to have a canal through it, the lacrimal canal, and it conducts tears. Uh, so uh, it actually makes a connection between the orbit and the nasal chamber. I can show you the lacrimal bone here. It's kind of hard to see where it ends and the other bones begin, but this is the area of the lacrimal, and then you can see that canal down in there. We'll get to the foramen in another film. Then we have the malleus. So the malleus is going to be one of the uh, ear bones again, the malleus, named for a famous uh, rapper, uh, MC Malleus, who um, later became known as MC Hammer, I think, right? Sometimes the malleus is called the hammer. So 
hammer won't work on a lab practical. You gotta use malleus. Same thing for the Incas.